Lakeland Public Television presents Currents with host Ray Gildow. Sponsored by Nisswa Tax Service, offering tax preparation for individuals and businesses across from the City Hall in Nisswa and on the web at nisswatax.com. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Lakeland Currents. Where tonight I have an opportunity, this is our eighth season in television. It's my first opportunity to talk to people who are developing a brand new business. This one happens to be in the world of media but it's also in the world of outdoors, which is something that's always interested me very much. And uh, so I think it's going to be pretty exciting what this project is, and I think you're going to find that people here are pretty knowledgeable and with a great deal of background in what they're doing. It's going to be interesting to see how this goes in the next uh, year or two. Um, the, the business is called Northland Outdoors. That's and my guest, if I could start to my right, is Tim Borgenschutz, who is the publisher-to-be. Or is it the, uh, what's your title going to be? It's going to be general manager. General manager of the project. And Tim Amundsen Brett. is going to be an on-air personality, I believe, Tim? Yeah, Brett. Yeah. Or Brett, I'm yeah. sorry. Brett, Tim, <laughs> and Brett. That's and right. Greg Kaiser is uh, new to the organization. But I'm going to ask you guys each about your backgrounds. And people are going to see you have a lot of experience in this. I, you know, I think we're in an area where people think magazines are dying and magazines aren't doing well. But the fact of the matter is, magazines that are specialized are booming and doing really well. When we look at uh, Newsweek and Time and some of those sort of magazines, they are not doing well. But the kinds of things you guys are looking at doing uh, is really a growth industry, I think, in the media area. So, Tim, maybe before we talk about what it is you're doing, who is Tim? Well, uh, I've Morgan had, shoots, I can Bo say it. Morgan shoots. Morgan shoots. That's good. Uh -huh. uh, I've been in the media business for a long time. I started here in Brainerd in 1979 working for the newspaper, and I was hired away from them uh, at uh, about 1991, and I went to work for in Fisherman. And that's when I, you know, I, I always loved the outdoors, and I had a chance to get into the outdoors, and I worked uh, with Ron and Al, and and Dan Sura and you know all those great guys that that put those great shows together for years and my job was to go out and sell and I I sold uh, to boat motors and trailers and electronics I got people to fishing where somebody else sold the actual fishing stuff uh, so we built relationships uh, you know uh, Lund Mercury those kinds of things mm -hmm. and I did that for like uh, about 13 years, and then I went to work and kind of freelance for a couple of years. I worked for Ellert Publishing down the cities, and I worked with uh, Archery there. And then uh, I worked for the Glorvigans up in uh, Grand Rapids. They had uh, uh, Gemini 2, and, uh, and I think now they're called uh, Wired to Fish. But then I came back to work for the newspaper, and uh, I've been working at the newspaper for about 10 years. When FCC came along, that's Forum News Service, or Forum uh, Communications Inc. came along, they talked to me about my background in outdoors and said, we've got this website that we've got, we don't know how to monetize it. What do you think, what can we do with that? And that was the start of this conversation. And so, you know, I can tell you a little bit more about that, but I'd kind of like to introduce uh, the rest of the team. We've, we're missing yeah. a couple, but yeah. these and two guys here got a ton of uh, And Brett, background. you and I have talked in the past when I was the governor's uh, guide and the fishing yeah. opener, uh, but it's the first time we've ever met before. But mm -hmm. you originally came from this area, didn't you? I was born in Staples. Yeah, that's right. My family, uh, uh, my dad worked for 3M and, and he was transferred to Staples for a couple of years in the mid-70s there. So he, I was born in the little hospital. The hospital's not there anymore. I got no, the, it's a big hospital. The big hospital now, now yeah. but the, the, the small hospital <laughs> that, was, that used to be there was born there and uh, family used to fish on the crow wing all the time. and. And uh, then we bounced around a little bit, but found myself back in the area again now. So, And, and tell us what you've been doing, because you've had uh, a radio series for quite a while, haven't you? Yeah, I, I, I've been in radio for, uh, for quite a while. I, I started uh, in radio right out of high school, so I've been doing radio for, for a number of years now, about uh, 20, 21 years now or something like that. So it's... It's been a fun career and it's something that I've done for a long time and, and fortunately in the last few years I've been able to get into the outdoors segment of radio, which is uh, a lot more fun. 
And your radio show was networked, wasn't it not? I mean, you were carried by multiple stations. Yeah, so in the last couple of years, I, I started a radio show that uh, I, I built a radio network with it. It's a one hour uh, outdoor show. And uh, currently it's carried on 14 stations across Minnesota with, with a couple more to come. And you still do, you're still doing your radio show per it, se? It's the same radio be, show. Will that be melded into this new business? Yep, yep. recently um, when I came on board here with Northland Outdoors, uh, we decided to take the radio show I had and, uh, and transition it over to Northland Outdoors. So now it is currently Northland Outdoors Radio. Okay. And Greg, your background, I, I know a little bit about your background, but tell our viewers what it is. Sure. Well, I was uh, originally in the golf business. I grew up in Illinois and uh, bounced around in the golf business and always was the guy that had a fishing rod in, in the bag or when I'd get done with work, I'd go out and check out the ponds, maybe do a little hunting, those kinds of things. So opportunity to come to Brainerd in 2000 was, uh, you know, I'd always vacation in Minnesota, so it was pretty exciting to uh, give it a whirl. And so uh, that's what brought me here, worked with Dutch Cragen at Cragen's and stayed on year round and helped him with uh, marketing the resort, those kinds of things. And, and uh, eventually then transitioned to a uh, job with Babe Winkleman Productions and uh, worked with Babe for about 10 years and did all kinds of things with him, including, uh, you know, worked with networks and sponsors and all those kinds of things uh, with helping him with his television programs. and his social campaigns, those kinds of things. And uh, yeah, so this opportunity came about this spring and after a few conversations, looked at the opportunity and, and decided to make the switch, so. It's really unique what you're doing because you're not doing a newspaper. Um, you're not doing just a magazine. You're not doing just a radio show. You're doing television. You're really making a multi-pronged approach here. What's the topics going to focus on? It's everything outdoors. It's not bullets and, and hooks. It's not just fishing and hunting, in other words. Uh, you know, I think our first magazine uh, will have uh, a cover that shows um, <clears throat> bike riding, you know, or, or um, fat bikes. And so, you know, it might be um, mushroom hunting. It might be looking for sheds. It might be about cooking. But there'll be a lot of fishing and hunting in there because that's what we do in this area. But it's about everything in the outdoors that all people would want to participate in. So we're hoping to, you know, with the, the, uh, the people that we reach in, in the four states that we're in, uh, most of them are outdoors people. That's why they live in, in North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. And they have all kinds of things that they like to do. And so there'll be a lot of emphasis on, on uh, state parks. Uh, just, it's not just hunting and fishing, although it'll be a big part of it, so. Uh, that's really interesting because you're you're going to focus on four states. Yes, which is pretty un un unique too. Because that's the general part. That's a general area, but it'll be more than that. Of course, with uh, with a website and television will actually spill out of that a little bit also. And your television will be seen on what what network? We have four channels. Uh, we have four uh, TV stations as part of uh, Forum News Service or Forum Communications. And we're going to supplement that with Fox uh, Sports North. And so will this be a weekly television show or a yes. bi-weekly? Yes, be, be weekly. T for a year-round basis? Yeah, it starts, uh, it's, it starts uh, June, June 27th? Correct. Okay. Wow, that's pretty. And so, Brett, will you be the on-air person for that I TV will be. series too? I will, yeah. Hopefully they've got a lot of CGI <laughs> to take care of this. <laughs> yeah, people That's pretty exciting. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm really excited about it. It's, it's really going to be a good TV show. I mean, it's going to be storytelling uh, based. So like he said, everything outdoors from, from hunting and fishing to outdoor recreation. And we're going to be telling stories with it. So it's not just about going out there and trying to catch some walleyes or something like that. It's telling the story of, you know, somebody who has been doing it for a number of years. We're, we're gonna go out and find those outdoor stories that are timeless, that are uh, interesting, and something that everybody can relate to around the region. There are obviously segments of this. There are TV shows, and there are magazines, and there are radio shows, but I don't know that I've seen one organization doing all of them like you're talking about. Well, the, mm -hmm. the one thing about Forum Communications is, uh, and I, you hear me say, uh, you know, Forum News Service, that's another part of what they do. They're content people, and so they're, they're, they drive content. And, uh, you know, new, the Forum News Service 
actually will take this outdoors information that we're gathering up on all of our medias and even share that with anybody who's uh, wanting to use that if they're a member of our, uh, our service. So we're content people, and so it's about what's going on in our in our backyards. What what is that? And uh, that's what they liked about it because they knew that that so many people in this these four states are outdoor enthusiasts. If you go to the Department of Interior, they do a study every I think it's every five years, okay. every five years, and uh, you know there's about eight states where 50 percent of the people in those states say that they're over 50% of the people in the states say that they're outdoor enthusiasts. Well, four of the states are the ones we're talking about. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a great place to be with a, with a network like this. And, and it's with the Forum Communications Network, it's, it's, there's 62 properties all together. So, I mean, we're knitting all this together. Their websites collectively uh, have about 40 million page views a month. Wow. So we have, a, we have 300,000 people that actually read a, a publication and pay for a publication that we publish. That's mostly all newspapers. So there's a lot of reach here to do a lot of things. So will your headquarters be in Brainerd? Uh, the headquarters uh, is in Brainerd, I would Fort say. Fort Northland outdoors. Yeah, I would say that would be Brainerd, and we're gonna be doing mostly content and sales out of Brainerd. We have a lot of people in, in Fargo, North Dakota that will be doing a lot of the service work and making sure that things get done the way they need to be. So we've got a group of about 40 people probably right now that are working with us where there's about six of us here in Brainerd, but the, we're going to be doing most of the work. I, 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 I think most in all of the my, content work, I should say. In my time here, I've never seen this kind of a venture with this multi-prong approach before. It's very unique. Yes, it, it really it's, is. It's seven platforms. If you figure, uh, you know, you've got 32 newspapers, you've got the television, you've got the radio. So those are the old traditional type uh, medias which reach a lot of people. You also have a magazine that we're going to be putting out. You've got a website, you've got a mobile, and a, uh, we've got designs for all kinds of uh, social media We've actually got one person hired that that's all she'll do is... Now, is your website up and running as of it today? It is. It is. And it's northlandoutdoors.com? Northland Outdoors. And you'll, you'll find it's a different looking out... Uh, it's a very, very nice uh, website to go to. It's, uh, there's storytelling going on there, but there's information, and you've got a lot of uh, visual that goes with these stories. So, what do you say, storytelling, like little YouTube clips, or...? Uh, what would they be? It, it's, uh, it's not your normal uh, website where you've got all the, the, the bullets where you hit and you go to different things. There'll be a search. You'll be searching stories that people will be putting on there. We have people from the DNR that are writing. We have people from, you, know, you could write you, with what your background is. If you wanted to blog onto our website, you could, we'd be glad to have you do that. So we have a lot of different people that are doing that besides our own people. So when you uh, start, Brett, when you start doing your television shows, will that editing be done in the Brainerd area too? For the most part, that packages will be put together here. For the most part, we're based all in Brainerd. I mean, it, it's hard to go anywhere else. When Brainerd is is kind of the the mecca of outdoor media, the outdoor media industry is is kind of here, and you've got so much to do in the outdoor world here. It makes sense to be based here in Brainerd. So, do you report to a board, or do you report to? Uh, an owner, or how, how does this, how do people end up evaluating your success? Oh, they do. <laughs> They've got a lot of money invested in this, but uh, you know, they, uh, we've got about uh, two VPs in the company that are working with us on this. Uh, uh, Mary Jo Hostler would be one that I would name because uh, she's the one that's put the, the forum news service in play and she's very good at creating things. and. She's been our guiding light, you know, to the company, and mm -hmm. uh, so we're working with her. Uh, uh, Jim Manny is a guy that put together the egg uh, television that they do in North Dakota, which is quite strong, and he's helping us put this together. Uh, we have, uh, you know, some other people that are working with us here. Uh, Chad Cool, I don't know if you ever heard his name, but uh, he's working with us uh, with the production and, and editing. So, you know, everything's in place pretty much at this point. We're just, you know, we're out actually starting to shoot uh, television for next year already. Greg, you would know this more than I, but I, I think in the greater Brainerd area, there's about 10 production studios. 
a lot more TV stuff going on in Brainerd and Baxter area, I think, than most people. Wait, is that about the right figure? That's very close, you yeah. bet. Right yeah. here, it's uh, it's the Hollywood of, of the outdoors. It really sure. is, isn't it? Peterson Outdoors and uh, in Winkleman. I mean, I think there's a lot of people don't realize the activity that's going on in this area. How do people interact with you? If there's someone that's got a really unique thing going on or interesting thing going, what, how would they react with your company? Well, again, like yourself, if you wanted to be a, a if you wanted to be a blogger to our website, you could do that. We're getting some of our stories from that. Um, you know, we're, we're all connected to the outdoors uh, in different ways. And, and Brian Peterson, which I haven't mentioned, and Becca Clemens, who I didn't mention, they're part of our team and Brainerd here. They're out looking for stories and, you know, doing things in the outdoors. And as they do, we run into these stories and away we go. And it's, again, with as many, uh, you know, newspapers say in the areas that we're in, 32 different newspapers, they're out there constantly finding something that's unique mm -hmm. and, and feeding us things and then we get it on the schedule and go. For people who don't know Brian, he used to work at the Dispatch. He's also been a writer with the Star Tribune and he's been all over. He's a very talented man. Yeah. Uh, been in the outdoor field exactly. for a long time. Um, so when you um, put these stories together, uh, a lot of them are going to grow in the magazine. Does the magazine come as a part of the newspapers then, or is that a standalone product that people have to purchase? To start with, we'll probably serve it through our newspaper distribution system. What we are doing at this point, and we are already uh, garnering quite a few people here, we're, we're soliciting people uh, through our, our website and ads and, and uh, through our readership to opt in, and, and it's a free publication. So, I mean, and all they have to do is say they want it and we'll actually send it to them. Hmm. And so, you know, eventually someday down the road if it gets big enough, uh, you know, we may pr probably charge for it, but it's a quarterly magazine and we're planning on putting it out to about 80,000 people in this area, wow. in, in the four state area. Um, so that's our plan with that. You know, it's uh, right now we, we don't have a complete sub, uh, subscriber base yet, but mm -hmm. we're working on that. Sure. And Brett, you, uh, how many stations do you go to now? You said, did you say 14? 14. About 14. Yep. Yep. So what is your strategy with the radio side of it longer term? Well, I'd like to grow the network. I'd like to double it. Ideally, I'd like to expand outside of, of Minnesota with it to cover the, the kind of the same footprint that we've got with uh, the television show and with print that we're doing. That's, that's what I'm so excited about this, this Northland Outdoors opportunity. You talked about it earlier. It's, it's not like anything anybody else has this is this is completely unique mm -hmm. to have radio television you know print all the newspaper the digital reach that we have i i've been making jokes that the next level for us is world domination because <laughs> I, th I think it is i mean there there isn't anybody else offering what we're offering with it and obviously the radio is is a big big part of it i think from my from my uh perspective just because that's the world that i come from and uh, I'm really proud of where the radio show is, uh, has gone, where it started and where it's at now, and, and I want to take it and just make it even bigger. So your current radio show, does it cover all of outdoors too? Uh, absolutely, It's not yeah. just hunting and fishing? No, we're, it, it, it probably started off that way a little bit, but uh, because there are so many people that enjoy the outdoors and the other segments of the outdoors, that we'll, we'll cover all that too. We, we've we've kind of covered a lot of that in the past, and we're definitely expanding into some of those areas. It's uh, it, it's really exciting. I mean, I think I think it's really an exciting concept that you guys have. Um, I'm you really, said you have four TV stations or four yeah, networks all in, that you're going to be connected to. Fox is one of them. Are you, will you be on the Outdoor Channel or no? It'll be just Fox Sports North, uh, supplementing what we do with our four okay. stations. Our stations go all the way up into Canada and cover uh, Winnipeg too. So you know, you know, I may should I, I should maybe hand that off to. Uh, Greg a little bit because he's he's more into the TV side, but yeah, it's uh, it's a great footprint from a television forum has the uh, four stations and actually six outlets. So uh, if you looked at it on the map, you go from about the Fort Peck Reservoir all the way across the state of Wisconsin through Fox Sports North in Wisconsin, uh, the northern half of Iowa up through Winnipeg. So everything in between, we've got North and South Dakota, Minnesota, Wisconsin being the core, but we've got those other areas as well. So very strong. There's some there's some uh, 
you know, it's it's nice to have a presence in a place where people are used to getting their news and they're familiar with it. It's it's a new uh, it's a new property, but it's delivered in a space where they're used to getting uh, mm -hmm. what they're looking for. So uh, it's going to be an easy transition for people to tune in and, and watch it because it's already where they're going to get their news. So you have, a, I'm sure that the, the organization has a sales force already. So does this sales force then go out, sales force rather go out and try to get more radio stations for you or do you have to do that? Yeah, right Right now, I mean, that's something that I've always done, so it's something that I'll continue to do, um, partly because I've been in radio for so long. I have relationships with, you know, it's a small industry, just, just like anything else. Uh, you get to know a lot of people, you have a lot of relationships and networks, and uh, so it's, it's easier for me just to make the phone call or go out and have lunch with somebody and set that up. So as a new part of this organization, do you have to go out and develop your own uh, sales and your own budget from new advertisers yes. is basically going to we're be starting from zero from basically. Scratch. So and and that's the good thing about these guys. I mean, everybody that's in our group and it's, we've got a tremendous team. They all have their relationships already, you know, right down the line here. And so you know, we we'll be selling it and and really, um, you know, Greg's in charge of that. Uh, he's the national sales manager. Our director and the thing is is we do have 130 other salesmen in all the newspapers in the different places that we have they can sell parts of this for the most part we're looking for uh, national um, marketing partners that will will try to build relationships with and get them in all of the different uh, types of media and and those we'll try and do that ourselves but they're there's certainly spaces where somebody can sell into the radio program or into the magazine or into their own newspapers and supplement what we're doing. And that's the idea. That's a neat thing. You can sell locally that way. Mm -hmm. You can sell regionally. You can sell national because we've got big enough numbers to influence people on a national basis. Now, will you be doing mostly story kinds of things or will you still do some newsy kinds of things? I think we're going to, I think we'll do a little bit of that. You know, there's always going to be something out there, whether it's, uh, you know, something that we don't want in our water, you know, that we, mm -hmm. you know, the pervasive species and stuff like that, you know, but I think for the most part, we're going to be telling stories. And um, I think, I think that uh, one of the things that Greg said early on that I really liked was when, when people get done watching or reading or doing any, you know, where, wherever where they come into our network to look at what we're doing, they get done, they go, I could do that, or that's interesting, I'm going to try that. So it's, it, it's, it's storytelling and it's maybe a little educational more than anything else. And a lot of the news, newsworthy things we will cover on the website or on the radio show too. So we'll have some outlets for some how, of those how, things. How often will your radio show be going on? It's weekly. So it's yep. an hour a week then? It's an hour a week. So you do it now? Yep. Some stations carry it more than once. So uh, there will be some affiliates where you'll be able to take it. And you've always once. tied into current topics there. If there's yeah. an issue in Mille Lacs, like fishing, you've had DNR people or that sort of per people on your show. On yeah, day, absolutely. You know, you know, if it affects the areas where <clears throat> my listeners are at, where our listeners are at, we try to we try to give them you know information that's relevant to them. So if there's you know something going on that's happening this week, or there's something that's that's newsworthy, or regulation changes, things like that, we try to let them in on it. We do some storytelling too with it, but we also try to uh, give them topical, timely information. Wow. And, and there'll be a podcast as well oh, okay. of that mm -hmm. show, so people that aren't in a market where they can catch it can always get it online and listen. And to that it. will be under the on same the title, just Northland, Northland Outdoors, 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 Outdoors. com. Yep. yep. And that'll be the same way. So if a potential advertiser sees this show and is interested in getting on board with you guys, what, what do they do? Give us a call. Just off just, your website? Just start sending us money. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, yeah. It's that easy, too, yeah, really. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty much all there is to it. <laughs> yeah. Greg well, will be the guy to talk yeah. to. Yeah. So sure. I, I'm, uh, I'm just really curious to see uh, how this is going to go, if you're going to see balance between all four arms of this, or if something takes off bigger than, does the magazine get bigger than the TV shows, or do the TV shows get bigger? It'll be interesting to see how you're measuring the results of that sort of thing. Well, I, th I think the, the neat part about it is having all these fingers as they, they work together 
and the strength is in the cross-platform storytelling, sharing it through all the different spaces. But there's certainly people that are interested in certain portions of this, and they can all live independently as well. So uh, as a whole, um, you know, if, if one does perform better than another, uh, it's all collectively for the good. So uh, it's a really neat balance of, um, of opportunity. So we can really provide something for just about anyone, and as, as Tim mentioned, from a local level. You know, from a manufacturer standpoint, sometimes they like to work with independent retailers that sell their products mm -hmm. in a certain market. We can target that market through a newspaper or digitally. Uh, the digital side of things is fascinating with what we can do there. Um, or we can go to the big branding concepts and run the same message all across all the platforms. So with that variety and all of those things, it, uh, you know, it all pulls together and, and uh, you know, as a collective, it's, it's really unique. About six years ago, I had Tim McCullough, who was the publisher at the time and the publisher from the St. Cloud Times, uh, talking about how tough it was because the newspaper uh, subscriptions were dropping pretty significantly. They didn't know how to get in on the internet and make money on how to monetize any of that. So they were sort of struggling as the whole industry was. What you're doing here, do you see this as kind of cutting edge for the newspaper industry too? Not every newspaper. That's a good observation because they, that's exactly right. They, the newspapers know that their money is going to get harder and harder to find. So what they go, what's our strengths and how can we monetize it? This is one way that they could do that by building this and, uh, and they're pretty excited about it. We, we've, uh, I think we've got something good going here and, and the people that are supporting us back uh, at the forum, they're very excited about what we're doing. So it isn't, it's, if you look at the Brainerd uh, area, it's not going to just be the newspaper anymore. It's going to be an information center of, of a variety of different media, Yeah, isn't it? That would be what North and Outdoors That's what be. you're doing. Yep. Yeah, that's very, very interesting. Yeah. Well, um, we're out of time. It's gone fast. Quick. I'd, I'd like to thank you all for coming on board. Greg, good to see you again. Brett, for, nice meeting you for the first time, even though we talked on TV before, or on radio. Tim, I see you just about every week. So yeah. it's going to really be interesting to see how your project goes and I wish you the very best. I think it's a fascinating, fascinating concept. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think we're all going to have a lot of fun with Northlandoutdoors.com is the website and mm -hmm. the business. You've been watching Lakeland Currents, where we're talking about what you're talking about. I'm Ray Gildow. So long until next time. Thank you.